Good afternoon, I'm JP, your shop hand, and welcome to In Route Essentials. We're gonna take a look at Rapid Picture. That's where we use InRoute's rapid textures with, you guessed it, a picture. Go ahead and pull in a JPEG in InRoute. We're gonna turn this boring piece of PVC into this. Oh, who took go? All right, let's open it in route and check it out. Here's my JPEG of this handsome little devil. I grabbed this off of Sign Design Elements, sde.thinksai.com for all your sign graphical need. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up a seed line. I'm gonna grab it from up here and we're gonna go horizontal. You can also do a seed line diagonal or vertical. It depends on which way you want your waves to go. After that, we will select our seed line, go up to our rapid textures right here, and we're just gonna scroll down until we find rapid picture. We're gonna click on that and let it load its default settings. Those are the ones we're gonna use. The only thing I'm gonna change is my panels. I need to make this a 13 by 19 and a half inches. After we put in our dimensions, we're gonna click back on our picture, and this is gonna pull up a box asking which tool we'd like to use. I'm gonna pick my favorite engrave tool. We'll hit accept, I'm gonna leave the gap where it is, and then it's just gonna let us know what we chose. And after that, we can hit apply. All right, editor, cue that elevator music for me. All right, there we go. We're gonna move our picture out of the way and what, JP, it's just lines. Don't worry, baby birds, I'll feed you. We're gonna select that. We're gonna go up to our engrave path and we're gonna use the X-Edge XLE 3100.01 engrave, my favorite. We're gonna set our depth. It doesn't really matter because our next step is gonna be the follow contour. That's what we need most. The reason we're using follow contour is to make sure we correctly follow the peaks and valleys of the waves across the Z-axis our lights and our darks. Click OK, and still it looks like lines. Go ahead and expand that. Bam, there's our handsome little fellow. Wow. So that is going to be our rapid picture. We gotta cut it out though, so let's go ahead and grab our border, go back up to our routing offset. For the external cut, we'll be using the X-Edge XR2061-CB 3 16th inch end mill. We'll be cutting half inch PVC. All right, now that we got it set up, let's send it out and check it out on the table. I appreciate you stopping by the shop and I hope this was helpful. Special thank you to X Edge Tools. If you're in the market for high quality CNC bits or accessories, check out X Edge Tools. Looking to level up your in route reflexi skills? Visit addendo.com where you can get in depth training videos, expert one on one virtual or on site training, and join our Addendo community. This is In Route Essentials, and until next time, let's keep creating.